Hello everyone, uh, tuning in. Uh, this is Representative John Bell. Uh, I, I know many of you are concerned about the coronavirus and just wanted to give you an update uh, from here in Raleigh. Uh, so, so good afternoon, we wanted to give you a brief update on the state's response to the coronavirus. Uh, we know each one of you are concerned and a lot of people have a lot of questions. And uh, however, what we want to do is put facts out there so that way people actually understand what's going on and, and not result in fear. Uh, I, I, there's no reason to panic. Uh, please know that as your uh, state legislator and representative that, that we are working closely with our local, state, and federal officials. Uh, many of them I've already reached out to today uh, and to make sure that we're all on the same page moving forward and preparing for, uh, for the impact that the coronavirus could have on our state. Today, many of you saw the governor uh, declare a state of emergency for North Carolina. Uh, this is in no need of a form of panic, but what it will do is it will speed up delivery of medical supplies and protect a lot of you from price gouging and, and a, a lot of the mechanical functions that, that we can do under a state of emergency. And so in the meantime, it's extremely, it's extremely important for people to stay away from large gatherings, especially if you're sick, uh, for older in, individuals or people that have uh, health, health issues, uh, that would be a, an easy way to prevent the virus from spreading. Uh, also, it's, it's now, uh, now time for you to ensure your own uh, personal responsibility by just using simple common sense procedures such as washing hands frequently, avoid touching your eyes and nose and mouth, avoid contact with people who are sick, uh, cover your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing, uh, don't, don't reuse uh, tissues after people are coughing or use tissues, period, uh, and then clean with uh, disinfected services that, that may be touched, uh, traditionally what you would do around your house. Uh, you can get an updated um, a version and reliable info at ncdhhs.gov slash coronavirus. Uh, that will give you a lot of information. Also, on this video, we're going to have links connected to, uh, you'll have the, the governor's uh, state of emergency that he did today. We want to be sure you see that one. Uh, there'll be links to the uh, oversight committee hearings that happened today with Secretary Cohen. And then also there'll be uh, a, a link to the CDC, some helpful resources so you and your family can review those to make sure you're prepared. Uh, I thought it was very important um, for you to not only hear from me as your representative, but also hear from the uh, only doctor, um, medical provider we do have in the House representatives, Dr. Perrin Jones, uh, who represents uh, Pitt County. They're, they're in, in the Greenville area. And uh, Dr. Jones, thank you. Representative Jones, thank you for joining me today and, um, and putting some information out there to our constituents. Thank you for having me. I appreciate the uh, chance to be able to speak to this issue. I know that it's been a significant point of concern for really people everywhere around the state. Um, at this point, there still is a lot about this disease that we don't understand. Um, there are some things that we do understand. We do understand that this disease is um, a greater risk for people that are older. Um, I think that the secretary defined that today as being over the age of 65 as well as people that have um, significant, what are called comorbid diseases, which would include things like heart disease, lung disease, um, kidney disease, or people that have um, immune systems that aren't working as well as, uh, as, as we would like for them to. Um, for the vast majority of people, fortunately, this disease seems to um, have a relatively benign course at this time. Um, some people, you know, will get sick. They uh, may have a fever for a day or two, have some, some respiratory symptoms, um, you know, which would be like a call or something of that nature. Um, but, you know, generally speaking, people recover fairly quickly. A concern that we are seeing is that while people have, uh, may have a, an easier course of the disease, it does mean that they are, they're able to spread the disease for a while before they realize they're sick. And that really kind of drives home the, the need for all of us to be a little bit more vigilant about hand washing, um, covering our mouth when, and, and nose when we call for sneeze, um, trying to wipe down hard surfaces, things of that nature, which you know really are kind of common sense measures that we really should all do during cold and flu season anyway. Um, Ideally, I guess this would be a time to um, also think about just kind of general health, you know, maybe going out and getting some fresh air, taking a walk, getting some exercise, drinking a lot of fluids, things of that nature. So with that, um, that's kind of what we know at this point. Um, this is a very dynamic situation. Uh, it certainly is something that will probably change over the next several days to weeks. And uh, we look forward to uh, keeping you informed of what's going on as, um, as best we can.
Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jones. I uh, just wanted to reach out to you and, and let you know that uh, here at the state level, we're taking this very serious. We're looking at uh, options on how we can prevent the spread here at the state. Uh, you saw the governor make the declaration today to, to start that process. Uh, my colleagues and friends here in the House and Senate uh, have been working hard. And so we'll continue to keep you posted. We'll continue to keep you updated and just tune back in on our social media outlets. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, e email us and we'll try to get you those answers as soon as possible. But uh, most of those links should answer all your questions. But just know that we're here, uh, our state's prepared, and we feel confident moving forward. And uh, we'll reach back out with you. Thank you. Thank you.